the Miles Davis Kind of Blue UHQR 33 and a third LP is one of my most cherished LPs, mainly because it's the definitive pressing of one of the most iconic jazz albums of all time. And, wait. We got our next UHQR on the press, and that's Miles Davis Kind of Blue 45 RPM. Son of a bitch. The Miles Davis Kind of Blue UHQR 45 LP is one of my most cherished pieces of vinyl, mainly because it's the, the definitive pressing of one of the most iconic jazz albums of all time. But should you consider getting this? This video is especially if you're not a quote audiophile or to be more detailed, if you don't have a system that costs thousands and thousands of dollars, will you even notice the difference in the quality of one of these UHQR records to a standard pressing? And will you even notice the difference between the 33 and a third LP and the 45 RPM LP? And if you do, why would you want both of them? I plan to try and tackle all of these issues, but keep in mind, this is my opinion and how I live my life and collect my pieces of vinyl. It might be different from yours. If it is, definitely aggressively tell me in the comments below and make lots of comments and bring all of your friends and have a whole discussion in the comments below. And while you're there, subscribe to the channel as well. I should clarify, this is coming from a person who used to never care or even know about different pressings, and someone who believed, when it came to my music collection anyway, that quantity was better than quality. Because after all, who cares what the quality is if you can't get it, whether it's because you can't afford it or it's limited. So here is a little secret that I'm gonna tell that I probably shouldn't tell on a vinyl channel, especially talking about UHQR vinyl, but my main library of music where all my albums are, over 2000 and counting, is actually digital on Apple Music. And that's because I can practically get anything for a fraction of a cost, if any cost at all in some cases, which has allowed me to explore and expand my taste. And when I do get a physical copy, it has to be a good choice, both musically, sonically, the presentation, the artwork, the whole thing. If you don't know, maybe you're like me and you're just learning about these new pressings or even what a UHQR record is. UHQR stands for Ultra High Quality Record. It was a format that was developed in Japan in the mid 70s or 80s, I'm pretty sure. And I think it was first done with Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs. But the goal was to make the best quality vinyl using a process that makes the stylus ride the record in a smoother way. The vinyl's not tapered like a normal vinyl record is, and the whole thing is very technical and apparently results in amazing sound quality. They put out a few of these issues for super popular titles like Dark Side of the Moon, Sgt. Peppers, and I think there's like less than 20 original UHQRs. I'm gonna link to a video that Chad Kasem made about his personal collection of them. They are super rare and very expensive, but the entire process, the machines, the lathes, all of it has been resurrected by Chad and the people at Analog Productions, and they have these amazing new version UHQRs on Clarity Vinyl. Now, Clarity Vinyl is before the black carbon is added, so it's supposed to be extremely pure and give you the absolute best experience while listening. To go even further, Analog Productions, as its name states, is all analog. So this is from the master tapes, no digital DSD step at all. Not that that would diminish the sound quality, but I think it helps make a better buying decision on these records. And that's a really big point of this video. Should non-audiophiles consider getting these types of records or possibly other expensive pressings? Let's just get it out of the way now. Yes, you should get this. Will you notice the difference even on like a suitcase record player? I don't know and I don't think that you should own one of those. Check out this video about why. What about if you have an average system maybe with powered speakers or something like a little upgraded like I have with separate components or something? Yes, you should get this. And you should get other 45 RPM vinyl even if you have 33 copies as well. 
The audio quality of these UHQR records is amazing. I don't have a standard LP of Kind of Blue, but I do have a very good repress of the George Marino Jimi Hendrix, and the UHQR is noticeably better. Mainly the separation of the instruments and the lack of compression that makes the cheaper repress sound louder. I think this loudness stuff is where a lot of new listeners, myself included, actually get misled. When I play these UHQR records on my system, they're a lot softer because there's a lot less compression, which actually allows for more nuance in the dynamics of the playing and more of that sound stage that all of the experts are referring to. The sound stage on these records is amazing, as well as the overall clarity. I'm a drummer slash percussionist, and I look for the cymbal click, the stick definition on the ride cymbal that you can hear, and a lot of drummers refer to it as stick click when you're looking for great ride cymbal sounds. And this record has it like just so, so very well defined. So then why 45 RPM records? To put it bluntly, all records should be 45 in my opinion, or at least I wish I could have a 45 of every record that I already own. If you haven't had the chance to listen to a 45 versus a 33 LP, go out and buy one and you will definitely hear the difference. A great place to dip your toe in the water is at Acoustic Sounds, which is the retail front for analog productions. This is directly where you can get the Miles Davis UHQR 45 and the Jimi Hendrix UHQR, which is actually still available, so you should definitely go get that. They have some great options for 45 records that are still in stock and constantly repressed, and they're not that expensive in my opinion. I have the Herbie Hancock 45, and compared to its 33, it is night and day. The sound is so much more upfront and in your face, and it's louder, but not because of compression, but just because of there's more data and information in the grooves to work with. Yes, 45s can be more expensive, and that's why all LPs are not pressed this way, but it does make you really decide which LPs are important enough for you to have on 45. For me, Nirvana is one of my most cherished groups, so I would like to have their whole catalog on 45. I have In Utero on 45, and I also have Incesticide, and they're both amazing. I also have that Herbie Hancock, Headhunters, which is one of my favorite funk albums of all time. Herbie is actually my favorite jazz musician. I have this John Patton, Along Came John, with Grant Green and crew on 45, because I love Grant Green and these Blue Note records, and I would get more of them, but they're actually getting a little too expensive for my flavor at the moment. And now I have this masterpiece, arguably the greatest jazz album of all time, and one of the best recordings ever made. And I feel like what Analog Productions is doing with these packages, how they look like library reference copies with their brown box and all the artwork that they provide. The recreation of the jacket is superb, all the way down to the spaces that might have been errors on the original, recreated here because that's exactly how it was on the original. These are preservation pieces. These are all preservation pieces. The sound of these alone is worth the money. But let's just think about the cost of what's going on here. I've worked in printing before. I understand what it costs just to make a 40 page all color booklet like this one. This alone could be sold for 30 to $40 and I'd probably buy it for that price. The jacket recreation and the quality of the laminated tip on jacket with this hard cardboard and the box. Some people don't like this box, but I think it's just stunning. The cost of these materials alone on the box and the 40 page booklet would make it over $100. And we haven't even gotten to the most important part, which is the music and the clarity vinyl that it's pressed on at 45 RPM, as we pointed out earlier. 45 RPM records are usually about $60 alone with a standard jacket and nothing else. So when I started this video, I mentioned how I built my music library digitally first and my belief is quantity versus quality. And I still stand behind that. If I could not afford this, or if I wasn't interested in Miles Davis, I would settle for the Apple Music version just to have a copy and be able to be enlightened by the session or whatever, but when it comes to spending money or a good chunk of change on one record, it better be quality first, and I don't think there is or will ever be a better version of this record pressed 
either the music or the presentation, the box, all of it, it's just stunning. So if you want the definitive pressing of, if not the greatest jazz session of all time, definitely the most popular, one of the most popular, get this record while you can. As Chad says, buy now or cry later. If you have the 33 already, it might be a tough sell. I admit I wanted other artists and other LPs before this one came along, but this is it, man. This is the end of the line for Kind of Blue, so you might as well get it since you wanted the 33, and now that can be a great player copy for casual listening, and the 45 can be your meditative deep dive. I hope that you may have found something useful from this video. I really, really love acoustic sounds and analog productions, but this is not sponsored by them in any way. I paid for this with my own money. Money. They have no idea I'm making this video and they'll probably never see it. If you did find something helpful here, definitely let me know in the comments and definitely subscribe because I want to keep making videos like this one. And like I said, I've got a couple other box sets on the horizon. It makes me feel good when you guys watch these videos and engage with them. So it really means a lot. All right, I'm going to go jam out to this 45. I will see you guys on the next one.